recording. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is how I, I was handling or trying to, uh, to start the bibliographic uh, analysis. And uh, the very first step, uh, Professor Ilan mentioned once, you should start with the co-citations. Th this will give you the landscape of the, uh, the current. And I remember also your, your uh, session when you, when you explained that the current static or the original uh, knowledge or, or streams of, of knowledge are being said by the co-citation. And then the bibliographic coupling will give you the new vectors of the streams of uh, data, how they are flowing, right? So that's what I had in, in my mind, the picture that I had in my mind when I started. So I wanted to see the co-citation. I was reading papers, I was reading the documents, and I, I, I think that I have, I would say, I wouldn't say a good grasping, but some grasping of the current, what are the papers explaining and telling. So I wanted to see this uh, in the graph. And this is how, how I started. Let me see, let me know if, I, if you see my, my screen. Yeah. Okay, great. So I won't get into the details that you already know, merging the, uh, merging the databases or the files that I, I downloaded, downloaded, but I have the Web of Science file and I have the Scopus file. Yeah, and I merged between them. Besides doing the basic uh, summary, so I started with a consultation and, and this is what I have. And I have to tell you, when I saw this, I was a little concerned. First of all, I didn't like the fact that I have two. I know, so Satoshi, Satoshi Nakamoto is the white paper of the Bitcoin. So, right, this is mm -hmm. the, like the seminal of all the papers. We all start from here. So it made yeah. sense, right, to have Nakamoto. But it didn't make sense to have two Nakamotos, yeah. one and two. Yeah. Right? yeah, so so you addressed that, I remember. But what called my attention the most is the fact that this document, Sharf, which I knew this document, this document appears everywhere. I myself mentioned, cited it several times in my research proposal. So yeah. this Char, Fabian Char, is, is like the star of the, of the uh, any, anyone talking about this is, is, is citing. So I didn't understand why Char is not co-cited with Nakamoto. Yeah. Okay. So that started my my to, to ask uh, questions because I assume right if I see also which papers are mostly cited in the summary of, of bibliometrics. It's up. Yeah, it's up, right? Here. Okay. Here. So I will expect some of them, Hen or Chen and Shan, to be co-cited. I mean, if they are, I understand that this is the total citations from yeah, global, yeah. globally, right? I, I get it. it. It's outside my file, but I will try. I will expect these two be co-cited. For this for this amount of numbers and I didn't see that so so that started to call some question marks right so I don't want how I don't know how much you want to dig into what I did to try to understand so the first thing that I I understood is that this when the database the files are merged the order of the parameters in the merge, uh, is significant. So it depends what you put here, in which order, it will give you different results. Which, in my point, point of view, yeah, yeah, in my point of view, this is a se severe issue. I mean, I don't know how much, I mean, I'm new in this field, so I don't know how important this is and how significant, but in, in Compute, when, when you develop something and you give two parameters and, and, and the order of the parameters, at least people should know that it makes sense. And why is it, they are important? Because when 
and, and I saw this in the code, when the merge function gets the data, the, gets the files, the, for every document that it's duplicated, it will take the citations from the first file. Make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so if we put Scopus for all these, how, much, how many I have? One, three, nine duplicated documents. For We are going to get for all these 139 documents, we are going to get the citations of Scopus. And if we switch, we switch the parameters, we are going to get the citations of Web of Science. Okay, so, yeah. and they are not the same. That, that we are going to get in a moment about on a moment on that why they, they should be the same i mean if it's the same they document, are not and they are because, not because because web of science has their indexing so they only account for the citations in their indexing and scopus does the same they only count the citations in their indexing right and 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 again i'm I'm new here, so I'm the last one who is going to set or to say what we should do. But in my opinion, this is this is an issue. I mean, we should. Yeah, we it's should a good like point. That. Yeah, it it, okay. it we. Yeah, it could be same. <laughs> okay. Because okay. in the list of references in the paper, they are the they are the they are the articles are the same. Right. Yeah, right. but but I, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so this is this is the three. The, this was the trigger for the topic yeah. that I'm discussing, talking now. So yeah. the order. So and and then I started to say, okay, let's say that I switch. I, I think that I have a few examples when when I switch. Yeah. So for for example, this is a first. I switch between Web of uh, Science and, and Scopus, and and I get different results. I mean, I don't know if you. Yeah. Yeah. Think. I guess we can see it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, interesting. So this, yeah. This is so interesting. Shaft, yeah, for example, Sharp now is the first is 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 is, uh, is starting to become important. Yeah, and it's it's being co-sided with with uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, which I expected that, but I say okay, but why why I mean, and and I started to dig a little more, and and find what what I think I understood at the end, and and I'm not getting into all the details. You can imagine that it took me a while. So eventually, I took the function itself. Uh, from I took it from Heat, GitHub. Uh, I mean, Bibliometrics is open yeah, source. Yeah, 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 it so, is. Yeah. So you have the code and everything is ready. So I took it and I started to play with it. I said, okay, I want to see why, when, another important thing, uh, Elan, Professor Elan told me uh, to check the local citations. So I did that. Yeah. And the local citations, when, when you have a Scopus, the amount of citations is extremely low. So I do have Sharp. Only five. And globally, I know that I have 136. Yeah. But locally, I have five citations, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. And, and if I set the second one, of science, so the citations are much better. Again, same issue, same topic from different result, but same root cause. So this one makes a little more sense, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's why we have Sharf in the graph when, when we set a web of science uh -huh. uh, first in parameters. But again, it gave me a strong indication that we are losing something. I mean, Scopus is not uh, is not behaving as I expected. Let yeah. me put it to phrase it somehow. So let me show you to make this long story short. So eventually, I started to play with the code of the co matrix of the yes of the calculation of the, the computing of the matrix uh, for, for for the graph. And I will comment out this section which handles the sharp uh, document. And when I'm, what I'm doing here is running, letting the function show me 
all the papers which belong, which uh, all the citations containing Sharp. Okay. Okay. It's taking a few seconds. Um, let's see if I can close. Okay. So without going all all of without going over all of them, I took it them aside and Oh, here, here I have it. So I took this is uh, what I, what you see here is this text, which I yeah. took it aside and I formatted it for so yeah. we can see it better. So what you can see here, uh, when I saw this, it amazed me. This is from Scopus. These yeah. are the citations of Char, and you can see that each paper is yeah, being cited differently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And each time is one, so it, it completely, <laughs> totally misses it. That's true. And it's 33 total? More. There are like 50 of these. All these in different variations. Sometimes you have a contract based with minus. Here you have the minus here. Here you have minus and space, and here and then also the what most of the differences the differences in other papers are the the journal the yeah. yeah sometimes you have the page sometimes you have i don't know the number of editions sometimes you don't have this and sometimes you uh, you also have sometimes the doi all so the variations so basically what the software is doing it's looking for the exact citation repeated Right. And right. so is that true in other softwares? Because okay. I'll tell so, you, for example, uh, looking at the impact factor of my journal, a lot of times it's underestimated because somebody misspells the journal or somebody puts, instead of the full name, International Journal of Emerging Markets, it'll use INT for international and, yeah, you exactly. know, it's shorten a little bit the title or something. It looks like yeah, it's, can, even if you're missing a comma or uh, if, if it's not an exact match, it doesn't count. Is it true also? Because yeah, I, I right. guess the way it could go around it, if it was only based on the, the title of the article, for example, then the chances are that a lot of these will be solved. A lot of the problem will be solved. Yes, most of, most of them. So I agree, totally agree with you that this the last part, the... But the publisher is the most significant root, root cause for this issue. Sometimes you have St. Louis, sometimes you have review, re, are second quarter, you have all the variations. But in this case, I also have in the title, sometimes you have blockchain with space, sometimes without. Sometimes you have this and space, sometimes you don't, sometimes you have um, contract-based, together sometimes you have with this i don't i mean also the title will make you miss some of them significant significant amount in this particular case and in other articles i saw the same issue also on the title which is kind of concern and and to answer your question professor Elan, i did uh, the same graph with the boss viewer and i did it with both Web of Science and Scopus. And I did it only with Web of Science and the result is the same. I mean, without getting into all the details, but also Web of Science is seems to be ignoring Scopus. With some good caveat or condition is that Web of Science at least warns you. And I prepared some screenshots in, in case that we will, uh, we will need them. So you can see here the warning that I took from uh, the Voss uh, viewer version. It clearly says that yeah. we have an issue with Scopus, right? So it's, it's telling you. So when I saw this, I said, okay, I'm not the only one. Yeah. 
and and I saw Munim in the. This is updated in the last uh, version that I downloaded uh, from uh, uh, of the boss viewer. In in your training, it, it didn't. It, it wasn't mentioned. I, it's two versions. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, yeah I that makes sense. Yeah, I checked that. I wanted to see in the training if if they gave you they give you an opportunity to see this. No, so. Sorry, this is another another thing. So the and the graphs are the same. Besides the level of the size of the leveling, so it it it, it is missing uh, the Scopus uh, database. Also the boss viewer. By the way, this graph is much better than the original one that I had before I started to analyze or, or trying to handle this issue. Okay, so yeah. worst case scenario, I believe we should. At least, at least check uh, 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 to limit ourselves to the web of science and, and explain about Scopus. If we want to get Scopus in in the, in, I mean, to handle or. or to, I mean, we don't work. have to put Scopus in because WOS is considered, you know, the the gold standard for databases. Okay. It okay. usually means that it's the it's usually the better journals, also the higher ranked journals. Oh, okay. so, that's, that's, so that's uh, so that's one way around it. I also wonder if you can, when you program it, if you could just use the the title, you'll have less errors. I always knew there was this was a problem. I just didn't know that it's that acute, and I'm not sure it's just that acute for you. It's just that acute for everyone. Uh, it's to, for I everyone, say, I would say, Ilan. But uh, you, you remember, Ilan, in the beginning, we you, in the beginning, you remember we recommended everyone not to do the merging of databases. Yeah. But then uh, in the course, most of the people were like, no, we want to merge. We are missing yeah. five important articles. Mm. So, and then also when we sent to, you know, the journals, they were like, the reviewers were asking, why are we not merging with these Coupas and all these things? And then we started to, actually initially, we first did the coding ourselves. I made a small coding in R to merge the databases, but then uh, the the guys, uh, yeah, the guys of Bibliometrics, they published this merge command. So we we always knew that there is a problem. <laughs> yeah. No, I just and, didn't know it was that big. I mean, exactly. I also didn't very, know it was that big. Yeah. Yeah. I I hope that someone. I I hope that I, I was myself the only one with bad luck enough bad luck to get. I mean, sharp was for me, I, I don't think that there are many of these examples that you see like 50 different yeah. ways to write the same article. I mean, I wouldn't come up with something like this in, on purpose. I don't know how, no, but, 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 but I, I saw, I want to, I mean, yeah. I did see this set with many other documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to this extent, like 50 quotations, yeah. But it happened a lot, many times, and I will show you now. Once I understood this, I was trying to see, okay, what, what can I do? I, I should I should I approach the original document, the I mean uh, the CSV with all the information and start changing it. I, I, it I, I was thinking for a while what will be the best approach. I don't know if I came up with the best solution, probably not. But what I did is. I got into the function and I started to actually change, manually change for each document. And, and this is what took me most of the time. I went author by author. And, and, and I also developed some ways to get this information. So what I did is I got, I got all the authors. I extracted what you see here is extracting the authors from mm -hmm. the quotation and i use the r function of table which statistical one gives you the, the the amount so i counted how many instances of each author i have and i assume there are some many authors that i have that are pr very prolific like like you and <laughs> both of you and have many documents articles uh, but I assume that Chinese names is particularly problematic. Right, because, right, right, right. You know, there's a yeah. hundred Chinese last names or about a billion people, you know. <laughs> OK, uh, yeah, the pigeon, uh, the, the pigeon hole uh, lemma. Yeah. Um, so um, 
what I assumed is that if I do have many more than 50 or even more than 20 for, for the author, I assumed that I had this issue. So I went one by one and I started to see what's the outcome. Basically, like, like, like I, you see here, I put the author in the, in the text and I see how many documents I, I, I have and I start to find the common denominator and, and, and it took me a while. But at the end, this is what I did. I went for each author and I tried to, to see what is the minimum, the, actually the maximum common denominator for all the papers that are different and there are many. And, uh, and I just suppressed with the most common one. So for example, if this one uh, had several instances of on network topology. So I took the one that had most appearances and I replaced yeah. all of them by this one. And it was ex very relevant for, for, uh, for, for example, for a uh, Butterin or Buterin, I don't know his name is he, like the Nakamoto of Ethereum, the author of the white paper of Ethereum. So it's for example, good. Yeah. So, for example, this guy didn't appear at all in the in the paper, in the in the graph in the original graph um, mm -hmm. until I did this. In so I went one by one and I started to process them and eventually yeah. and, and I created my own version of the. Uh, this looks nice. Yeah, this one. This one looks really nice. Yeah, this one is the one that I'm taking. So I have. Nakamoto, and I have Sharf, and I have a, a Buterin or Butterin, and and, and and I start, I believe that I start to understand the clusters. I yeah. think that I know what these are explaining. And by the way, the, uh, the authors are in the same cluster. Same authors are in the same cluster, something that didn't happen before. Yeah. So, for example, Kong and Kong are in the same cluster, are cited together, which makes sense. And, and Corbett here and here, they are different papers for the, yeah. and, and, and here, three different papers of the same author that are cited in the same cluster, which also makes more sense in the original graph wasn't the case. Some documents were in different clusters from the same author, which could be, but in the, something indicated that wasn't that good so now makes more sense uh, so basically yeah. you updated the database and then ran the same co-citation algorithm yeah I, up tricks. I updated the software i didn't touch exactly the i maybe i should have done the database but uh, i created my own I, I thought why, I, so maybe that's what I should have done different. Originally, I thought that I will come up with some way to normalize uh, the titles yeah. and, and find some kind of way to say, okay, some you can ignore this, but then I saw it, it's too complex and there are many variations. So I said, okay, let's just replace the text. So maybe I should have done it in the files, in the database itself. But uh, in, in this case, what I did is I changed the code I, I yeah, changed yeah, yeah, the I function. Yeah, so so in for but example in can we now use if we want to use this function for another paper? No. We no. cannot, right? Because we have to manually no. change all the titles of you all the articles. To, yeah, yeah, you need to so so just to close the, the example. So uh, when doing a, a co citing uh, so instead of calling the COC the matrix, I called my function. Okay. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and my function, what I did is basically the same code, the same original code with my extra ifs, yes. conditions. So no, you cannot use it because you need to yeah. make- Unless you put all the extra ifs, right? <laughs> right, right, and it Which depends is... on the documents that you have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, but Betsy, I want to uh, first of all, uh, you know, uh, take my hat off for you because uh, <laughs> I think th that's that's the markers of a good researcher, somebody who who is not comfortable with what they see when it doesn't make sense and they want to figure it out. 
my sense is that a lot of uh, students, PhD students included, they just uh, put in the numbers, get the output and run with it. So I want to commend you for, for being detail oriented and to really thinking it through. And I think the, 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 uh, the final outcome is going to reflect that. But going back to what I told you relating to the paper, you know, now, okay, we get very robust analysis. How do we tell the story? What is unique about the story? What can we learn from the story? How do we model this into the framework? And that's, uh, you know, so you, you showed me very well. You're very good at the detail. Now you're good at understanding the trees. Now can you move up and see the forest? Yeah, well, I, I think that I told you already, this is my comfort zone. So so I understand what you're saying. Uh, I, yes. but, but, but the honest answer is that I couldn't do it before I have the good ground yeah. to step on. I mean, I yeah. was... I mean, I didn't feel this looks that very I was. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, also the bibliographic uh, graph is different. The coupling is different. Yeah. They are using the same citations and the same functions. So, it's also different. So, to try to answer your question, I'm in the beginning. And, and, and as I showed you before, I'm also doing. Um, um, so, what I also did is that I got, I, I have a software, a, a library, which is called Quantida. And it, it's doing a lot of text analysis. Mm. So, so yeah, so in this case, I took the PDF. I uh, downloaded, of course, downloaded all the PDF for each cluster. I put them on, on, on a different uh, uh, folder. So, so far, I did it for two clusters. And I throw it to, the, to this library. Mm -hmm. And uh, did some remove common words and some basics. So what I came up to is that for the cluster, and I also read the document, so I know what they are talking about. So this this uh, cluster is is on the co citation, mm -hmm. and and it's the kind of old or the I will say I, I didn't name it yet, but if I will need to name it, I will say this is the the front line. I mean this is the first. A, a way to try to assimilate and to understand the cryptocurrency. Nice. I like that yeah. very much. Yeah. Do we, so, we, we, we haven't used this software, right? Uh, to my knowledge, Munim. No, we, we did not use this package in uh, previous. This, this might be something you can add to your uh, lessons, you know, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, so, so for example, example, what I saw in the papers is that they are talking about uh, on the network, but not on the network, on the physical network, but they are talking on the network effect of uh, trying to learn the price and uh, to trying to forecast the price of the uh, asset based on the, on the network effect. So this is one of network factors. How many, I mean, why? This is, this is the very first papers. They are assimilating uh, the cryptocurrency. So they are seeing that based on the network effect, uh, they are able to see what is going to be the price uh, of the asset. And this is common almost for all. Hmm. The papers in the uh, here in the, in the words that are with more frequency uh, something that doesn't happen in the second uh, cluster the second cluster is more about spillover i i saw your the elon professor elon what you sent and uh, the spillover analysis uh, so it's uh, that will fit in this uh, cluster exactly uh, volatility, right. yeah volatility spillover exactly. and the stock exactly. and dynamic nice. and, and the, yeah, so yeah. so this, this is what I can say about your question, uh, uh, Professor Elan. But I couldn't do this before I, I separated the, the graph in a in a in a proper mm -hmm. way. So basically, this is this is what I wanted to show you. To, no, to it's very picture. promising, and I really like the way you're you're doing the methodology. Yeah, thank you. And I, I would also recommend you to write a bit about this. You know, the customizations yes. you have made in the method section. Yes. So it would help I many, should, many uh, people actually in the future. 
Yes, uh, in fact, in fact that, yeah. when you write it up, that may actually be the mo thing that is most cited. Exactly. You know, I have a friend who got a who got these like a lot of citations because he used the particular you know method or particular data, and as a result, uh, he got it like not for the paper that he wrote, but just for the methodology you know handling of the data. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's in fact, I would even write it as a. I, I don't even know, Munim, but I, I think it will it could even be written as a I want to put it piece. in a contribution, you know, like, because um, I think there's a critique here about a lot of these papers that have been written yeah. that probably don't do that. No, no, no. Most right? of the papers. So it, actually, this part, you know, customization part, if we, if we want, we actually, it would be possible to write it as a perspective piece and publish yeah. in the journal Scientometrics. You know, as a small, a small like four or five page uh, perspective with some quotes and how we did the edits and so on. So that could be like a like a method contribution. You know, yeah, the yeah, yeah. I channel. agree. I would actually encourage. Yeah. Okay, I I was actually wondering if I should mention all this in in the paper itself. So I'm glad that you are bringing it up. Yeah. Uh, if with your guidance, I will do whatever, <laughs> whatever you find. Uh, you tell me. I, I, I'm yeah. not. A, I, well, you, I, you're gonna go very far if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. By the way, that. I don't know if you know Munim, but Benz is uh, probably going to start his PhD after okay. this. He's on the fast track. Uh, so I don't know, Bensi, uh, how you, how able or willing.